Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Jones. Welcome back to my channel and to my new releases video. I am really excited for this one. And basically I am releasing underlays. So we have 20 designs, 20 foil colors, new foil colors um, that are gonna be available just for the underlays at the moment. I'm thinking of doing some other sheets just available in these 24 colors. So like a mixed script sheet, um, a mixed icon sheet, just stuff like that. Um, but we'll see, we'll see where we get to. But um, for now, we're just gonna do the underlays in 24, uh, 20 foil colors plus my four core foil colors. So this is something that has been requested plus something I wanted to do. There's a little sneak peek of the designs. Um, I'm gonna go over the designs and then I'll go over the foil colors. There's one of each design in each foil color because basically I made these to test the foils um, as much as I can because not every foil foils very well. And these aren't necessarily the 20 colors I wanted to go with initially, but they are 20 colors that foil well. Um, so I'm gonna change my lighting up because some foils will show better in it different lightings. Um, so yeah. Um, these are going to be slightly cheaper than my other sheets of this size and they have actually changed shape a little bit. They are a little bit thinner and a little bit taller and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so basics of the sheet, they are, there is like no gap between the stickers so you get like your two full box underlays next to each other and so there are nine of those and then at the bottom you have a double header do width and a header width of each one so you get nine full overlays two double headers which is a quarter of a full box and a header which is an eighth of a quarter full box so each design is like that they are all designed via seamless patterns so yeah that's why that works so just to show you, show you the difference in the size of sticker sheet as you can see they are just that tidgy bit thinner and that tidgy bit taller so the the like page is basically the same size but you just it's a slightly different shape um, and that's just because it makes it easier for foiling I don't have to color, cover up the registration marks I just can cut my foil slightly thinner um, and I just feel it works better and yeah so I'm really happy with the new foil sheet size so everything will be changing to this size or quarter sheets will be half of this size so anyway that's kind of basics let's go over the design first and then we'll go over the foils and um, so first up we have heart dot as you can see there are just little dots next to hearts and um, this is in a uh, red glitter but again the glitter doesn't show very well in this lighting but I'll, i'm not going to worry about the foils at the moment we're just going to go over it then we have paint splatter or blood in this is in red up to you whether you think it's paint or blood um so if you get in red it's going to look more like blood if you get in a different color it might look more like paint then we have the twinkle dot you know orange lines again foils aren't going to show very well in this some of these sheets are oops obviously this would be oops because of this box here um but i've only made these for the videos and to test the foils foil okay so yeah so this is the brick design i'm not actually going to say what foil they're in at the moment then we have grid um i don't know what this is called but they're like it's a repeating rainbow circle pattern thing we have a zigzag concentric circles or mosaic circles doodle circles or bubbles triangles as i say oops again but i wasn't gonna remake the sheet just for this we have um solid mermaid scales checkerboard diagonal stripe daisy dot xoxo roses plaid or plaid depending how you want to say that mermaid scale rainbows and leopard print and obviously you've got a bit of a sneak peek of the foils but let's just go over them again um, and show you a bit better and i'll show you the best way of showing them on camera so first up we have red glitter which we're gonna have to maybe i should split these into ones that are going to show it better um, with this lighting so you can obviously tell on the roll much better it is glittery but it does come over on the sheet and it is really obvious in person but it's really hard to show on camera but that is red glitter and um, i am going to just go through and show you the ones that are going to show better in this lighting and then we'll change the lighting back back next we have orange lines so you can see it there it is just lots of lines it's like just a orange shift 
these were in rainbow order that's why i had them um next we have um orange shattered glass which is beautiful and that's in this brick pattern this is closer to copper so i'm just going to show you the difference quickly so this is copper this is orange it is kind of closer to the copper in its orange shattered glassness but it is definitely still like i think it's quite orangey particularly where it holographics off so that's there um i'm just trying to see what things are next we have lime lines which is this one it's very similar to the orange except it is lime green i'm obsessed with this foil it's one of my favorites the next one is lilac lines and these lines come off a more holographic much much more holographic and um, so that's there and that's the roll then this is the best i could do for sparkly hollow it is the um holographic lines um sparkly hollow just doesn't work for me i can't get sparkly hollow to work but this kind of works for sparkly hollow it's the best i can do at the moment i'm going to try some different foils um coming up but yeah so this is um holographic lines as you can see i freaking love the line pants <laughs> they foil really well as well so it's a bonus then again this wasn't the rainbow i wanted to go with but it's the one i've had to go with i'm gonna again test other rainbows but this is glitter rainbow um you can see again better on the foil but yeah it's just like it's a glittery rainbow really love that and then that's it for the ones that will show better with the lighting like this so i'm going to put my lighting back to the other way and go through the other foils okay so first up we have red so this is just a flat red um it is a shiny one some of the um foils come across more matte um but this is definitely a shiny one so that is red then we have copper which if you've been shopping at my shop a while you know this used to be one of my core foil colors and i got rid of it because i just felt it wasn't really a core foil color anymore so that is copper then we have light green slash matte green so again this is a much more matte i don't know whether i think you'll be able to tell against the red see how the red's like shining and this is just you'll actually tell better with this like it doesn't to do see how that's like really reflecting the light and that's just sort of not <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but if you've used matte foils you know what i mean but that is matte green this does have a tendency to over foil the foil colors are all going to be like subject to how they foil and i might ch change them in time but yeah this is emerald and it is just a nice flat green yeah there by the way i use washi um or yeah i use washi to keep the foils rolled <laughs> so please don't mind that and then we have teal or tilly journals teal like yeah <laughs> it's just beautiful i love this foil color i love all of these foil colors then we have light blue which or icy blue which you've seen before in the shop this was what the um mystery cyber monday mystery was foiled in which i don't think i have shown on my channel but yeah there so that's icy blue then we have deep blue or real blue i'm probably going to call this which is beautiful oh it's just yeah it's just a perfect blue then we have another matte one which is lilac in the checkerboard and i'm obsessed i literally i'm obsessed with this pattern oh then we have tilly journal's purple or just like proper purple but yeah again this you can see a little bit has a tendency to overfoil but yeah stunning next we have hot pink and it is hot pink you've again seen this you've seen quite a few of these foils before and um, so this one was the valentine's twinkle was in this foil i might pair one of these sheets with my other my underlays from that twinkle then we have rose so this is like the same shade again sorry this is a little bit oops but actually it's just a little bit of overfoiling again this has a tendency to overfoil you can see some overfoiling bits but if you just scratch very lightly they come off and i do try and do this before sheets go out but sometimes i miss little bits but yeah because obviously it's not super obvious but i do try and if you ever have a problem with that just um message me and i will replace your sheet of course or refund you um but anyway this is roses um and in rose foil beautiful and that is very similar to um spc's rose gold foil um but it is shiny rather than matte that's the main difference with it but it pairs as an underlay you won't be able to tell the difference at least i don't think you will 
Then we have a champagne gold. Um, and oh, I, just, I love this pattern as well. <laughs> I'm so excited for these. And this is just a comparison to our hot gold. Um, our normal gold in the shop is this hotter gold. But yeah, I'm kind of tempted to change it to this. But I find it really difficult to change to like into some lights to tell the difference between this and rose gold, which I know sounds really weird. But let's see if I've got a rose gold sheet. I'm currently struggling to find one. See so what I mean? It's like halfway between. You can't. It doesn't look the same at all than this, right? Like, never mind. Um, but I've had this from another shop, and I really struggled to tell the difference between this and rose gold. But anyway, that is a champagne gold. Mm, what am I doing? And then, last but not least, we have oil slick, which is just an oil slick pattern. Basically, I tried this sheet with sparkly gold and it didn't foil at all. So I just then used the oil slick because that was already cut, but it's a really random pattern to have it in this design. I'm, yeah, so that is oil slick. And that is all of our foils and all of our releases for February. Um, Super, super excited for these. Let me know some underlay designs you want to see. ASAP, because I am already designing them. I already have three designed. Do you want a sneak peek for February's? Shall I show you? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? I'm just gonna lay these out and then I'll show you a quick sneak peek for sticking it around to the end of the video. So there we have it. We have our 20 designs. This is really weird in this lighting. This looks not foiled properly, but it definitely is foiled properly. It's just the lighting. So that's our 20 designs and 20 foil colours. Let me know if you want to see other sheets brought in a variety of foil colours in the comments down below. I'm super excited about this. Um, I am a little bit reluctant to bring all of my sheets in multiple foil colours because I just don't have the stock for it. And the way I design sheets, it would just not really be possible. Um, but anyway, let me show you a quick sneak peek. So first of the three new designs that I've already done, we have the Daisy Doodle in like a much more gappy pattern, kind of more, it's gonna be more like this rainbow here, which I think these would look amazing with an underlay underneath. This I've designed as a square, but it's actually gonna probably be this way and be a plaid um, on the underlay. So that's that one. And then we have this Doodle Star one as well. We're gonna have a full one of this, but I just wanted to design this repeating one whilst I had the moment. But yeah, if you wanna see any other designs, I'm basically gonna look at my kits for the next couple of months and choose some underlays that I would want to go with them and design those. But if you've got any suggestions, drop them down below and I will try and do those as well. And I, again, I tend to do 20 designs, but um, in unless I'm showing you new, new foil colors, I'm just gonna have digital listings so that is it for this video. Comment like down below if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think of the underlays and what you want to see next time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!